Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. This afternoon from Fort Lupton High School, it's the visiting Fort Morgan Mustangs against the Fort Lupton Blue Devils. I'm John Beltran as the Mustangs are in first place right now in the Colorado 7 with an 8-0 and league record, 10-5 and overall. And Fort Lupton at 3-5 and in league play and 5-10 and on the season. We'll get to the Mustangs starting lineup here momentarily which is brought to you by High Plains Bank, hometown service at a higher plane. That's High Plains Bank at 502 Central Avenue in Wiggins for assistance in opening a loan, equity line of credit, or checking account. See what over a century of customer service can do for you. That's at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. Batting first is the center fielder Kyle Daniels, the DH Chris Anderson at second. Reyes Rodriguez, the second baseman, bats third. The cleanup hitter is Wes Anderson playing first. The left fielder, James Blackston, hits fifth. Jared Bohm, the pitcher, at sixth. Tony Zwedzik at short bat seventh. Austin Cosman, the third baseman, hits eighth. And the catcher, Joey Schneider, will be hitting ninth, all against Clint Allen. As the Mustangs are dressed in their road maroons with the gray lettering and black numerals and the gray pants, and Fort Lupton in their home whites with the royal blue lettering and numerals. Mustangs swept the season series one year ago. They won here in a three-hour marathon, 20-9. to nine. And speaking of marathons, Rockies right now trying to sweep the Giants at Coors Field. That game on 10-10, KSIR, as the Rockies trail in that one, 8-7, to seven in the bottom of the eighth inning. So, again, you can check out that game on 10-10, KSIR, as soon as Fort Lupton takes the field. Then we will get you to the positions. Keep in mind, you can always follow us pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com. Just click on the link for today's game. Or by half inning by half inning updates at B106 on either Facebook or Twitter. And... Slightly overcast. There was some rain coming up on the way. Temperature in the 60s it's as the Blue Devils take the field. Alex Record is the first baseman. Christian Angel at second. Over at third is Manny Ledesma. Isaiah Padilla is at short. Around the outfield, John Lujan is in left. The center fielder is Jeff Merritt. In right is Ian McPeak. Behind the plate is Colton McCutcheon. And on the mound is the right-hander Clint Allen, who pitched here in relief last year in the Mustangs' 20-9 victory. As Kyle Daniels, the sophomore, will step in momentarily. These teams will also play on Friday. They'll play on Friday in Fort Morgan at 4 o'clock right here on B106 and B106.com as well. And the Mustangs have been Doing an excellent job offensively, coming off that 9-3 victory over Elizabeth and David Wallstrom, a pitcher that held Fort Morgan to one run just one year ago, even though the Mustangs would win that game one nothing. But the second time around, after being shut out over the first three innings, then Fort Morgan got to Wallstrom in that third inning, or check it, in the fourth, I should say, as they scored four runs and five more in the fifth. So these Mustangs, like all these other teams, well-rested. Going into this game here against the Fort Lupton Blue Devils. So the left-handed hitting sophomore, Kyle Daniels, to step in. Daniels on the season hitting 353. Been an excellent leadoff hitter for Fort Morgan. From the left side. Against the right hander Clint Allen. 340 straight away, 350 in the gap in right center, and 330 down the lines. Opening pitch just after 4 o'clock. They're still waiting for the baseballs to clear. 
And here is Daniel stepping in for the left side. Allen ready. Airs the wind and pitch, and the fastball is upstairs. Opening pitch brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Home Auto Life and Health. Give Greg Mullen a call and brush, 842-4555. The 1-0 is high as well, two balls and no strikes. To Kyle Daniels. McCutcheon lays down the sign, the pitch. Fastball on the inside corner for a strike. Two balls, one strike to Kyle Daniels. Merritt working quickly. And the offering. A strike at the knees with a fastball. The count levels at two and two. Daniels likes to take pitches his first at bat. Choking up on the bat, the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the left. Count remains at two and two to the Mustang center fielder, Kyle Daniels. <laughs> Allen toes the rubber. Airs the wind and the pitch, and the breaking ball is grounded to first and into right field beyond the outstretched glove of Alex Recker. We'll give him a base hit. It was a playable ground ball, but a little bit off to his right, so Daniels reaches, and that'll bring up Chris Anderson. And that ball rolled a little bit quicker than I thought through this infield. Looks like a high grass. Now we'll figure out how well it plays. Anderson hitting 333. And Daniels with lots of speed at first to stretch. Long pause to pitch. Swung on and lifted foul off to the left. And the count is at 0-1. The Mustangs looking for their 11th win of the season. Undefeated, as we mentioned, in Colorado 7 league play at 8-0. Two more wins, and they win the league for the second straight year. The stretch. Throw back the first back and diving is Daniels. Uh, Jared Henderson coaching first. I'm not sure where Coach Holly is today, the assistant. The stretch. Anderson awaits the 0-1 pitch. Here it is. And the breaking ball is lifted towards center field. Jeff Merritt to his right. Ranges under it. Makes the two-handed catch. Back to first is Daniels. There's one down. And that'll send up the third-place hitter, Reyes Rodriguez. And an RBI triple. And the victory over Elizabeth. He's driven in 13 and hitting 373 on the season. Throw back to first back and diving is Daniels. With one down, one on the top of the first inning. No score from Fort Lupton. Stretch by Clint Allen. And the pitch. Swing and a miss and a bender low and away. It's 0-1. Wes Sanderson will hit next. Daniels with about a two to three step lead. Throw back to first. Back and diving again is Daniels. Allen certainly keeping a close watch of the Mustang. Base runner. No balls, one strike, one out, one on. McCutcheon lays down the sign. And the pitch. Fastball is high. Runner going to throw to second on a hop. And it skips towards center field. Daniels is the stolen base. And the count is level at one ball and one strike. And that's what Daniels has been doing virtually all year. He gets on and he takes off. For Daniels, that's his... Well, only a six steal. Seems like more. Stretching the pitch. Swung on. That ball is driven into deep left field. And that is way back there. Up against the fence. Around third is Daniels. He will score. Reyes Rodriguez into second. With an RBI double. And the Mustangs lead in the top of the first inning. By a score of one to nothing. And that ball was drilled. By the Mustang senior. That'll bring up the left-handed hitting, Wes Anderson. And a conversation now with 
Allen and his catcher McCutcheon before that first pitch will be delivered. The Mustangs already claiming the early lead. Anderson certainly wants to pull in this situation. Considering that it's got a man on second base in Rodriguez, the stretch. And the offering. The breaking ball is lifted towards shallow center. That one might drop. That is going to be, no, caught out there. Nice play. Throw back the second back in time. Caught by the shortstop, Isaiah Padilla. And there's two down. That'll bring up James Blackston. Blackston coming off a one-hit performance against Elizabeth, in which he doubled in his final at-bat. So two down in the top of the first inning. Stretch by Allen. And the pitch swung on. That ball is lifted on the right side. The first baseman over in foul territory making the catch. And the inning is over as Alex Record puts it away. One run on one hit. No airs and a man left. Let's head to the bottom of the first. Fort Morgan won. Fort Lupton is coming to bat on B106 and B106.com. Reyes Rodriguez came through with an RBI double for the Mustangs as they take a one nothing lead over Fort Lupton heading into the bottom of the first inning. Jeff Merritt, the center fielder, hits first. Shortstop Isaiah Padilla hits second. The pitcher Clint Allen is the third hitter. The cleanup hitter is the catcher Colton McCutcheon. Batting fifth is the third baseman Manny De Ledesma. First baseman Alex Record hits sixth. Johnny Lujan, the left fielder, hits seventh. Second baseman Christian Angel hits eighth, and Ian McPeak, the right fielder, will be hitting ninth. For the Mustangs defensively, Wes Anderson's at first, Reyes Rodriguez at second, Austin Cosman's at third, Tony Zwedzig is the shortstop, James Blackson in left, Kyle Daniels in center, the right fielder is Juan Aguilar. Behind the plate is Joey Schneider, and on the mound is Jared Bohm. The pitch, the fastball, is down and away. To Jeff Merritt. One ball and no strikes. The offering. That's in the dirt. Two and oh. Bohm has been the ace for this team throughout the course of the season. Two oh. Down and away. Three and oh to Merritt. Hitting from the right side. Bohm gets a sign and the pitch. Fastball, a strike at the knees. Three and one to Merritt. And the pitch. Fastball, a strike, belt high. Three balls and two strikes. Bohm at five and one on the season with a 3.53 ERA. Fastball's in the dirt, and he walks on six pitches, and Merritt reaches. Here's Isaiah Padilla, the right-handed hitting shortstop for Fort Lupton. With the Mustangs up 1-0. Here in the bottom of the first inning. The stretch by Bohm, the pitch. In the dirt, gets away from Schneider. And on the wild pitch... Merritt goes to second. So Bohm does not look good here to start the game. One ball and no strikes. The stretch by Bohm, the pitch, swag, and a miss through the fastball right by him. The count is level at one and one. Mustangs were 0 and 3 to begin the year. Now they've won 10 of their last 12 games. Merritt with a big lead over at second. Mustangs used a pickoff to end the last game against Elizabeth. Bohm looks back. The offering bounces up there again. He doesn't look comfortable on the mound at this point. Two and one to Isaiah Padilla. With nobody out, Fort Morgan leads one nothing in the bottom of the first inning. The stretch by Bohm looks back. The pitch. Swag at him as he threw the fastball right by Padilla again. If we can... Located, he'll be successful as he's 
been through much of the season. Two and two to Padilla. Schneider lays down the sign. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is low. Three and two. And he's using up a lot of pitches here in the first inning. And he hasn't faced two complete batters yet. Merritt off of second. Stretch by Baum. Three, two. Swing and a miss. He threw it right by him. A big fastball. There's one down. One down for Clint Allen. The right-handed hitting pitcher for Fort Lupton. Before your next mixer or feeder truck purchase, compare the MMI Design Craftsmanship and Service. The pitch swung on and grounded inside the third base bag. Into left field for a base hit. Around third is Merritt. He will score on the RBI single from Clint Allen. The game is tied at one in Fort Lupton. MMI International outperforms their competitors. 8-4-2, 51, 61. That's MMI International. That'll send up Colton McCutcheon. So Allen has helped his own cause. In the bottom of the first inning, throw back the first. Allen back in. And that's really because of the leadoff walk, the stretch, and the pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outer half. No balls and one strike. Boom, gets the sign. Throw back to first, back in diving is Allen. Boom, still ahead in the count. Here at 0-1. And the offering. Fastball is a little bit high. Count levels at one ball and one strike with one out, one on, and one in. The bottom of the first inning, deadlocked at one. The stretch and pitch. Fastball is up and in. Ball two, strike one. To Colton McCutcheon. The catcher for the Blue Devils. Bohm gets the sign. Long pause, throw back to first. Again, back in diving is Allen. He's certainly worried about the base runner. But he's got to take care of his control here on the hill and get into a rhythm. The stretch and the offering. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. That was a beauty. Two and two. And normally when you're a good pitcher like Bohm is, the first inning is the toughest. That's just the rule in baseball. You have to get into a rhythm. You have to get established. And he's on a mound he's not used to. The stretch. The pitch. Swung on and fouled off the end of the bat on the breaking ball towards the Mustang dugout on the first base side. And the count remains at 2-2 two and two to Colton McCutcheon. With Allen at first. Schneider lays down the sign and the pitch. Fastball upstairs. The runner going to second. The throw and a hop. Uh, sails into center field off a terrible hop. Daniels picks it up. He throws to third. And it's off of the glove of the third baseman, Cosman, but backed up over there by Bohm. It was a stolen base for Allen. And an error on the Mustang catcher, Schneider, on the bad throw. Now Bohm looking for a strikeout or an infield pop-up. And that ball took a hop and then just sailed over two fielders. Nasty hop. Wine in the 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball is lifted into deep left center field. Kyle Daniels is back towards the fence. He'll make the catch. Tagging up is Clint Allen. He will score in the sacrifice fly by Colton McCutcheon. And Fort Lupton leads in the bottom of the first inning 2-1. to one. That's exactly what he had to do, and as a result, the Blue Devils have the leader. Here's Manny Ledesma. Again, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at B106. The pitch is up and in. Four 
One ball and no strikes. Stretch and pitch. Up and in again. Two and one to Ledesma. Mustangs now trailing in the game. The offering. That's off the glove of Schneider. I think he went with the off-speed pitch. Lost total control of it. The count is at three balls and no strikes. To Manny Ledesma, he'll be taking on this 3-0, which is a fastball down the middle for a strike. Three and one. The wind by Bohm and the pitch. Foul back. Bohm has labored in this first inning with 24 pitches. 12 for strikes and 12 for balls. With two down and the bases empty and the Mustangs trailing by a run in the bottom of the first. Wine in the 3-2. Curveball has popped up into foul territory on the right side. Anderson giving chase, but the first baseman runs out of room. And it remains at 3-2. and two. Ledesma back in. Three balls and two strikes. Baum ready. Wine and pitch. Fastball line foul and off to the right and out of play. So Ledesma will see another pitch in this at bat. This will be the eighth pitch of the plate appearance. Baum ready. And the 3-2. Swung on. That ball is popped up into right center field. Kyle Daniels to his left makes the catch. And the inning is over. But a very good one there for Fort Lupton. As they pick up a couple of runs, they do it on one hit of Mustang Air. And nobody left. One inning complete in Fort Lupton. Fort Lupton 2, Fort Morgan 1. On B106 and B106.com. The Mustangs trail 2-1 to one in Fort Lupton to the Blue Devils. As Jared Bohm, Tony Zwedzig, and Austin Cosman will hit. Here in the second inning against right-hander Clint Allen. Mustangs got a Reyes-Rodriguez RBI double in the first. And here is Bohm whose last at bat on Friday was a two-run blast. Swung on. That ball is driven into deep left center field. Way back, and that ball is up against the fence. Baum is around first. He's into second with a leadoff double. He drilled that baseball. So Baum picks up where he left off in his final at bat against Elizabeth. There'll be a courtesy runner for Fort Morgan. And that looks like Cadlito Urquiera. So he will be running for Jared Baum. And here's Tony Zwedzig. Another right-handed hitter for the Mustangs playing shortstop today. Swedzik also had a productive day against Elizabeth. The stretch by Allen. Looking back. And the pitch. Swung on. Grounded right back to the mound. Urquieta's caught between second and third. Now goes back to second. Allen thought that he could just throw to first and retire the hitter, which he did. But he allowed Urquieta get, to get back. And there's one down. Swedzik hitting 256 going in. And I'll bring up Joey Schneider. A check that Austin Cosman will now hit. Leading the team in home runs, hitting 225. The stretch and the offering. And the bender gets away all the way to the screen. The wild pitch will send Urquieta to third. And the Mustangs have the tying run right there. So one ball and no strikes. Fort Lupton leads 2-1. to one. This was a 29-run game last year. 20 runs for Morgan, 9 for Fort Lupton. Hopefully we won't have one like that again today. The pitch, swing, and a miss on a changeup. Cosman out in front. The count is level at one ball and one strike. Cosman with major power leads the team with four home runs, including a three-run blast against Elizabeth. The pitch. That's a strike on the off-speed pitch on the outer half. It is one and two. 
to Austin Cosman. Laying down the sign is McCutcheon. And the offering, curveball, and check swing, but it hit off the bat foul. Tried to get out of the way. Almost hit around the knob. It was a very strange foul ball. And Allen has thrown lots of strikes. 15 strikes, only four balls to this point. And he's got a one ball, two strike count. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He threw a fastball right by Cosman who strikes out. And there are two down. Here's Joey Schneider. The Mustang catcher from the right side. And the pitch. The breaking ball swung on, grounded a short. Padilla's got it on the second hop. Throw to first. And the Mustangs are retired in the top of the second. Had a man on second, nobody out. No runs on one hit, no errors, and a man left. An inning and a half complete in Fort Lupton. It is Fort Lupton 2, Fort Morgan 1 on B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the bottom of the second inning in Fort Lupton. Where the first place team out of the Colorado 7, the Mustangs, trail the Blue Devils by a score of 2-1. to one. Jared Bohm had issues with his control in the opening inning. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here with Alex Record. First baseman, swing and a miss. He threw a BB right by him. The right-handed hitting first baseman, no balls and one strike. That's the way to start the hitter as opposed to the game where he walked the leadoff hitter. The offering, swing and a miss and a bender in the dirt. 0-2. Oh Bone looks like a new pitcher just on the first two pitches of this bottom of the second inning. Just needed that first inning to get into his rhythm. Wine and pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew him away on a fastball. And strikes out record on three pitches. There's one down. There's John Lujan. Hitting from the right side. For Fort Lupton. Wine and pitch. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. One ball and no strikes. Boom ready. And the offering. Fouled straight back. Challenged him with a fastball. Boom has now thrown five pitches in this inning. All for strikes. And he struck out a couple of hitters. One in the first one. So far here in the second. No balls and two strikes to Lujan. And the 0-2. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. Schneider will pick it up. He'll throw to first. And that is a strikeout. And there are two down. There's Christian Angel. Another right-handed hitter for Fort Lupton. Wine and pitch. Fastball is a strike at the knees. Down the middle at 0-1. Now Bohm has thrown seven pitches in the inning, all for strikes. No balls, one strike. The wind and the offering. Fastball, outer half, a strike at the knees again. It's 0-2. Can he make this a nine-pitch inning? No balls, two strikes to the eighth-place hitter. The pitch, down and away with a fastball. It is 1-2. and two. Laying down the sign to Schneider. The pitch, breaking ball, called strike three. It froze Angel. And striking out the side in order was Jared Baum. He's got four strikeouts in the game. Let's head to the third. Fort Lupton 2, Fort Morgan 1 on B106 and B106.com. It'll be the top of the order for the Mustangs, trailing the Fort Lupton Blue Devils 2-1. to one. Here in the top of the third inning. Kyle Daniels led off with a base hit to right field. Mustangs one run on three hits, two runs on one hit for Fort Lupton. Fort Morgan has committed the game's only error. Wine and pitch, and the bender is down and in. One ball and no strikes from the right-hander, Clint Allen. 
Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan, equitable savings and loan in Fort Morgan and Brush. The offering swung on and driven into the left center field gap to his left as Lujani makes the catch. Got a great jump on that baseball. And Daniels is out number one in the third inning. That'll bring up Chris Anderson. Anderson popped to center in the first inning. And Allen is throwing a ton of strikes. The pitch. Breaking ball is in the dirt. That's only the sixth ball he's thrown in 24 pitches. One ball and no strikes. And the offering all the way to the screen with a fastball. 2-0. Fort Lupton leads Fort Morgan. 2-1. We're in the bottom half or the top half of inning number three, I should say. Wine in the pitch. Swung on line. Foul down the left side. Two balls and one strike. Mustangs and Blue Devils will play on Friday in Fort Morgan at 4 o'clock on B106 and B106.com. The bases are empty with one down. Clint Allen delivers. Swung on, grounded up the middle. Center field shortstop Padilla behind the back. Slings it the first in time. That's an excellent defense by Isaiah Padilla. And there's two down in the top of the third inning. Here's Reyes Rodriguez, who smoked an RBI double in the first. Scoring Daniels. The right-handed hitting second baseman steps in. Wine in the pitch. And the breaking ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. To double R. Wine in the pitch. Swing and foul tipped into the glove of McCutcheon. And that evens the count at one ball and one strike. Got to look for a strike if you're a Mustang, because Allen has some pinpoint control. 1-1 one, one pitch. Curveball is up and in as Rodriguez moved that left shoulder out of the way. Two balls and one strike. 2-1 Two Fort Lupton in the top of the third inning. And the pitch. And that fastball is down and away. Three and one with Wes Anderson on deck. Wind and pitch. Fastball is low and away. Rodriguez walks. And here is Anderson who popped out in his first at bat. And again, only 3.30 down the line. He's got enough power to easily kiss it. Throw back to first. Rodriguez back in diving. Wes Anderson, a 267 hitter going into the game. The stretch and the pitch. And the breaking ball is low. One ball and no strikes to the Mustang first baseman. Hitting with a wide stance. He's 6'3", so he can spread those feet apart. The pitch. Fastball is a strike. Nope, just missed. I thought it was... I heard something from here, but it was called a ball just off the plate. 2-0. and Again, Rodriguez with a conservative lead at first. McCutcheon lays down the sign. Clint Allen with a long pause and a 2-0. Right there, fastball at the knees. On the outer half for a strike, it's two and one. Two balls and one strike to Anderson. The stretch. And the pitch. Swung on and lined on a couple of hops and off the shortstop. Padilla into shallow left field to second is Rodriguez. That'll be an error. Took a little bit of a funky hop, but he tried to backhand a ball that was actually hit to him. So Anderson reaches on the first air of the game by Fort Lupton. And the inning continues for James Blackston, who popped the first to end the first. When Fort Morgan scored their lone run. This will be righty against righty. And it's gotten very overcast in Fort Lupton. 
extremely overcast. We'll see if we get any rain. A stretch. Allen looks back, and the pitch swung on tapped foul up the third base side. The count is at 0 1. Mustangs with two on and two down, trailing two to one in the third inning. Allen with a long pause. And the 0 1 offering. That's right there for a strike down the middle, just above the knees. It's 0-2. Yeah, Blackton took a very hittable pitch. No balls and two strikes to the senior left fielder, James Blackston. The stretch. And the offering in the dirt with a breaking ball. Excellent discipline there by James. One ball and two strikes. Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center for all your farm and ranch supplies, including Purina feeds and everything, in Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush. One and two. Allen looks back. And the pitch swung on and driven into left field and foul. That ball was twisting away from Lujan and left. Count remains at one and two. To James Blackston. Yeah, I think we're going to get some rain here at some point. Pretty overcast here in Fort Lupton. Runners take their leads. And the pitch. The breaking ball is up and in. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Two to one, Fort Lupton in the third. At second is Rodriguez, Wes Anderson at first. And the offering. Ooh, that ball got him on the helmet. A fastball riding in, hit the bill of the helmet. Blackson's okay as he races to first base. And the bases are loaded for Jared Bohm. Now the home plate umpire making sure that Blackson's okay. You could hear that one. Didn't crack the helmet, but it. It's a very loud sound. Oh, if Bohm can do in this at-bat what he did in his last at-bat, the Mustangs would take the lead as he drove that first pitch all the way to the fence for a double. But he let off in the second inning with that double now. He's got the bases loaded and trying to help his own cause, as Clint Allen did for Fort Lupton. Here is Bohm, the stretch. Throw back the first. Well, the first baseman record was almost caught off guard over there. He got back to the bag and caught the baseball. The stretch. And the offering. And the breaking ball is a strike on the inner half. Thigh high, it's 0-1. Rodriguez off of third, Anderson at second, Blackston at first. Out of the stretch is Clint Allen. And the 0-1. And the breaking ball's on the inside corner, strike two. No balls and two strikes. Bohm did not like that one, but now he's got to protect. Down in the count. McCutcheon setting up towards the outside, lays down the sign. And now Allen steps off. It'll be an 0-2 pitch. Here it is. Fastball is up and in as the catcher McCutcheon was standing. So there's no way Bohm was going to swing at that one. One ball and two strikes. The stretch. Pitch to Bohm. Swung on and lifted down the right field line. McPeak with a long run to his left. Still racing, and it's fair inside the line. One run is in. Anderson scores. Around third is Blackston. Towards the plate to throw. He scores standing up. That's a three-run double on a pop fly down the right field line for Jared Bohm. 
And Fort Morgan now leads 4-2 to two in the third. Didn't hit it hard. He just hit it in a perfect spot. And really nothing that McPeak could do. Here's Tony Zwedzig who grounded out. And the question is, will this game at any point come to a halt because of potential rain? So a bases clearing double for Jared Bohm. The stretch and the pitch and the breaking ball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. The stretch by Allen. And the 1-0 fastball is inside. Moves the count at 2-0. and And Carlito Urquiera is the courtesy runner. At second. Long pause. 2-0 pitch. Fastball is below the knees. 3-0. and To Tony Zwedzik. The Mustangs up 4-2. to two. He's squaring to Bunn just to distract the pitcher. And it's ball four. Low and away. And we'll have a conference on the hill as Austin Cosman, who struck out swinging his first time, about to step in. And surrounding the field, there's some, there's a lot of light, but some dark clouds overhead. And I'll have to do everything I can to protect the equipment at this point. With well, the Mustangs at four to two, two on, two out, and three in so far in this inning. And while the Rockies are also playing on 10-10 KSIR, one of our sister stations, and they are tied at eight in the 10th inning against the Giants at Coors Field going for the three-game sweep. Cosman to step in. Looking to extend the rally for the Mustangs. You get these clouds, the temperature drops quite a bit as well. You almost want this to be a five-inning game, but the way it's going right now, who knows? So here's Allen against Cosman. The wind is picking up. That's another sign of weather. The pitch, the breaking ball hit Cosman in the back, and the bases are now reloaded. Blackston was hit earlier in this inning. That'll send up Joey Schneider, who is 0 for 1. He's the ninth hitter of the inning. And could do some serious damage right now to extend the two-run lead held by the Mustangs. Schneider grounded to short in his first at bat. The stretch by Allen. And the pitch. And the fastball is down and in. One ball and no strikes. Allen had a tremendous strike the ball ratio, but has struggled in this inning with his control. A walk and two hit batsman. Schneider awaits the 1 0. Here it is. Fastball, a strike down the middle just above the knees. The count evens at 1 and 1. Wow, this wind is whipping now. Whipping. At third is Urquieta. He's the lead runner. The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball. One and two. So that's a good second. Cosman at first. And this wind is not letting up. Didn't come out of nowhere. We saw a lot of these clouds on the way up. Wasn't sure if they were moving this way, but the answer is yes. One ball, two strikes, two down. The bases are full of Mustangs. The stretch by Allen. And the pitch to Schneider. Swung on and foul back. One with a breaking ball. Remains at one and two. Yeah, you can clearly hear it right through our microphone. How windy and colder it's gotten. A drastic change from first pitch about 45 minutes ago. The stretch by Allen. And the pitch outside with a curveball. 
That levels the count at two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Schneider. The stretch. Allen delivers. Swing and a miss. He blew him away with a fastball. And Schneider strikes out, but for the Mustangs in the inning, they scored three runs on one hit. It was a bases-clearing double by Jared Bohm. One error, and the bases were left loaded. Let's head to the bottom of the third. Fort Morgan four, Fort Lupton two on B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the bottom of the third. And what's become cold and windy Fort Lupton. Where the Mustangs lead the Blue Devils by a score of 4-2 to two on Jared Bohm's three-run double. And here is Ian McPeak. The left-handed hitting right fielder stepping in for the Blue Devils. A tremendous change in weather. We haven't seen this all season. Wind and pitch. Fastball has popped up and out of play on the left side. And it is 0-1. As a lot of the fans are looking for cover, I don't blame them. I'd like to do the same thing. No balls in one strike. To Ian McPeak. Bohm struck out the side in order in the second. With the Mustangs up 4-2 to two now. The pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outer half at the knees. It's 0-2. Well, some lighter clouds seem to be moving in. That might eliminate the wind. We'll see. 0-2 pitch. Fastball is low. One ball and two strikes. To the left-handed hitting right fielder, McPeak. Wine and pitch. Fastball is fouled straight back. As the count remains at one and two. To the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the third inning. Schneider lays down the sign and the offering. Swing and a miss on a changeup. Schneider has to throw to first as the ball was in the dirt. And that's the fourth consecutive strikeout registered by Jared Bohm, who's got five in the game. One down for Jeff Merritt, who walked. And Bohm in, really in complete control now. It's a little bit of a worrisome situation there in the first inning, but no longer. The pitch, fastball in the dirt, one ball and no strikes. Here's the wine and pitch, swag and a miss. Threw it right by him and the count is level at one and one. Baum gets the sign, the offering, swing and a miss and a bender in the dirt. That moves the count to one and two. Wine and pitch. Swing and a miss and another ball in the dirt. Gets away from Schneider. Has to pick it up. as a long throw to first, and that is just in time. Excellent throw by Schneider. That is five strikeouts in a row for Jared Bohm as Merritt is retired. Here's Isaiah Padilla. He struck out in the first inning. Home has been a different pitcher the last two innings as opposed to the first. The offering. Fastball is down and away. One ball and no strikes. Baum ready the pitch. Fastball is grounded right back to Baum, and he'll flip the first for the outs. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jared Baum. Let's head to the third. It's Fort Morgan 4, Fort Lupton 2 on B106. And B106.com. Swung on in line towards right field. And it's over the head of McPeak on a 1-0 pitch to Kyle Daniels to lead off the fourth inning. Daniels around first. He's the second. Now he is rounding second, headed to third. And the throw will be made. But it's going to be late. It's a leadoff triple for Kyle Daniels. Here in the top of the fourth inning. And the Mustangs are in business with a 4-2 lead. And that'll send up. Chris Anderson 
Daniels now two for three in the game. The stretch by Allen, the pitch, and the curveball is low. One ball and no strikes. The Mustangs trailed early, and that pitch is low. Now the count moves to 2-0 and to Chris Anderson. Allen out of the stretch. And the pitch, fastball a strike. Anderson has popped out and grounded out. So he is 0 for 2 in the game. Allen ready with Daniels at third. And the offering, swung on, lined on two hops, off Padilla's glove, the shortstop, into left field. Daniels will score. It's an error and still an RBI there for Chris Anderson, the Mustangs now lead by a score of 5-2, to two, but give the air to Padilla. His second of the game was a sharply hit ball, but right at the shortstop. Here's Reyes Rodriguez. He's doubled, driving in a run, and he's walked. The Mustangs have opened up now a three-run advantage. That's one of the reasons they are sitting at... 8-0 in league play. Swung on and grounded to third, and it took a funny hop. Fielded the long throw to first. It is going to be late. And that'll be an Aaron Ledesma as the Blue Devils are struggling defensively now. Not a true hop, but one that could have been fielded third air of the game. And here is Wes Anderson. He's 0-2. for 2. Popped out and reached on an error. The stretch, and the offering squaring to bunt, and he misses the breaking ball. And it is one ball. Check it, no balls and one strike. Allen looks back. Well, the runners taking their leads. And the 0-1 pitch squaring a bunt again, and he takes it outside. Count as a one ball and one strike. One in, two on. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Fort Morgan with a 5-2 lead over Fort Lupton. They've scored the last four runs of the game. Again, Allen gets the sign. And the offering swung on and popped up extremely high in the shallow left center field. The shortstop Padilla goes out, makes the catch. Then drops the ball, but it was called an out. It was on the transfer. There's one down. And Anderson now at 0 for 3. But his teammates have picked him up nicely. James Blackston has popped out and was hit by a pitch. And he scored the final of the three runs on that three-run double. Hit by Jared Bohm. The stretch and pitch. Swing, and I'm missing a fastball above the letters. And it is 0-1. No balls and one strike. The stretch and the offering swung on and fouled back. Moves the count to 0-2. No balls and two strikes to James Blackston. Well, the Mustangs in the lead 5-2, to two, top of the fourth inning, two on and one out. And the fifth place hitter at the plate, Chris Anderson at second, Reyes Rodriguez at first. And the 0-2 in the dirt gets away, skips to the screen. And on the wild pitch, the runners advance. Anderson to third. Into second is Rodriguez. Now let's see if the Mustangs can capitalize and build on this three-run advantage. One ball, two strikes. Stepping off is Allen. (laughs) 
One and two. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is down and away. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch a little bit low. Three and two to James Blackston. The stretch with a wind whipping the pitch. Swung on, line towards left field. Coming on is Lujan, and he can't make the catch. It's off his glove. Scoring is Anderson. The third is Rodriguez. It'll be a base hit. It'll be a double, in fact, for Blackston. Lujan nearly made the play, but the ball was tailing away from the left fielder. And it's a 6-2 to two Fort Morgan lead. Now only one base for Rodriguez there. He had to make sure that the ball was not caught, but Blackston did get into second. Here's Jared Bohm, who's been tremendous so far. The pitch, fastball is outside. He's got two doubles in the game, including one that cleared the bases that overturned a 2-1 deficit, 1-0. Swung on it weakly on the ground on the right side. Fielded by the pitcher. Allen looks to third. Throws to first. And on the excuse me swing, Bohm is retired. There's two down as the runners had to hold. Oh, well, Let's see if Tony Zwedzik can pick up his teammate here. With two down and... Two men on. We are at the top of the hour. This is KPRB, Brush Fort Morgan, Morgan County's B106. The pitch and the breaking ball is a strike on the inside corner. No balls in one strike. Swedzik is grounded to the mound and walked. And the 0-1. Fastball is up and in. That's already 77 pitches thrown by Allen. 44 for strikes, 33 for balls. He's not had great defensive support. Three airs behind him. One ball, one strike. And the pitch. The breaking ball is inside. It is two and one. Long pause by Allen. And the pitch. Swung on line towards right field. That's going to be a base hit. Crossing home plate is Rodriguez. Blackston rounding third. No throw to be made. It's a two-run single for Tony Zwetzik. And the Mustangs have played it three more in this inning. And now lead eight to two. As Zwetzik went the other way. Austin Cosman has struck out and been hit by a pitch. So he is 0 for 1. The pitch, the fastball's a strike. No balls in one strike. To Austin Cosman. Allen stretches. And the offering. Swing and a miss. The runner going. The throw is up the second base side. And it's a stolen base for Swensig as the ball got away momentarily. Now down on the counts is Cosman. As this wind continues to get as ridiculous as it was 20 minutes ago. No balls and two strikes on Austin Cosman. And now he's got to step out. Something flew right in his face. Yeah, I, uh, I would assume it's it's hard to bat flying in your face, although it didn't bother Zwedzik too much. But it's picking up and letting up at different times. Allen stretches. And the 0-2. Swing and a miss and a fastball. And Cosman strikes out for the second time in the game. But Fort Morgan is able to score three runs for the second straight inning. Check it, four runs. Three hits, two errors, and a man left. As we head to the bottom of the fourth inning, it's Fort Morgan. Eight, Fort Lupton, two on B-106. And B106.com. Clint Allen will lead off the bottom of the fourth for Fort Lupton. The Mustangs 
have scored the last seven runs of the game. And they now lead by an 8-2 to two count in Fort Lupton. And Jared Baum has retired the side in order in each of the last two innings. Allen did have a base hit driving in a run in his first at bat. Eight runs on seven hits for the Mustangs. Two runs on one hit for Fort Lupton. And it was the single by Allen. Other than that, Jared Baum has pitched extremely well. And taking some additional warm-ups there is Baum. I'm not <laughs> sure what they're waiting for there. Rocky still playing. And at cores against the Giants. Just felt a couple of raindrops there. That's not a good sign. So here we go with Clint Allen. About to step in against the right-hander, Bohm. Line and pitch, and that breaking ball is down and away. One ball and no strikes. Bohm wants to get out of this mess as quickly as possible. I'm talking about the weather. Fastball, a strike at the knees. Levels the count at one and one. Bohm ready, the pitch swung on, fouled off the end of the bat. One ball and two strikes to Clint Allen. Here to lead off the bottom of the fourth with Fort Morgan in the lead by a score of 8-2. to two. Wine and offering in the dirt. Bohm at one point struck out five batters in a row. And he has thrown a gem after first inning troubles. Swing! And I'm missing a fastball. And Allen strikes out to lead off the bottom of the fourth. And we'll check the strikeouts. I believe that's number seven for Jared Bohm. Here's Colton McCutcheon. He drove in the second run for Fort Lupton. Wine and pitch. Fastball is up and in. And we had a lot more fans here about half an hour ago. But again, you can't blame them. The weather has gotten rough with the wind and the cold here in Fort Lupton. The pitch a little bit down and away. Two balls and no strikes. McCutcheons was actually a sacrifice fly. That drove in the run. The pitch. Swung on and grounded towards Bohm. He's got it. He'll throw the first time. He threw it away. Oh, what a horrendous throw by Bohm. And the second is McCutcheon up against the right field fence on the on the foul side of the line. That was a terrible throw by Bohm. And that's a second error by the Mustangs. He didn't follow through at all. I mean, that throw was only about 20 feet away that he had to make. And he airmailed it, and he airmailed Wes Anders. It was 6 3. So the Blue Devils get a break on that two base error. Here's Manny Ledesma who popped out. As he will now step in. And let's see. Apparently we have somebody with their lights on. It's. Not advisable. Those have to be turned off. Now we can continue the game. Here in Fort Lupton. Well, that's why you never take any play for granted. Well, might an easy one, but sometimes throwing from 60 feet away is easier than from 30 feet. 
And the breaking ball is down and away. One ball and no strikes to Manny Ledesma. Now we have some raindrops descending on this Fort Lupton baseball field. Throw back to second, and the ball skips off of Zwedzig into center field to throw to third. And getting in over there is the courtesy runner for McCutcheon. Another Mustang error. That was Arturo Carrasco. So the Aaron pickoff by Bohm. It's a man at third and a 1-0 and count. And that wind, oh, they got to call time. They just can't continue playing when the wind is this bad. 8-2 to two, Fort Morgan. Bottom of the fourth inning. One out, one on. The wind by Bohm in the pitch. Swung on line towards right field. And on a hop. Played over there by Aguilar. It's a base hit. Ledesma... As the RBI single scoring Carrasco. And Fort Lupton is back on the board. 8-3. to three. Here's Alex Record who struck out swinging. His first time. Mustang still with a five-run advantage, but set up by a couple of errors there by the Mustang pitcher. Oh, he recovered nicely in the first inning. The pitch. Fastball a strike. Belt high. Got to do the same thing here in this inning. Bohm looks in. No balls and one strike. And the pitch swung on and lifted towards the second baseman, Rodriguez. The shortstop, Swedzik, comes in, cuts him off, and makes the catch. And there's one, two down. Now yeah, we need to get this game over with. But we still got lots of baseball to go. With two down and a man on in the bottom of the fourth inning. And now batting is Johnny Lujan. He struck out his first time. Throw back to first. Ledesma back in. Yeah, I'm equipped like I'm on an Aspen Mountain right now. The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a foul back. It's 0-1. Never anticipate anything. Oh, it's a lovely day. Well, it was. Not anymore. Preparation. The stretch. And the 0-1. Fastball is upstairs. That levels the count at one ball and one strike. Now, I wonder how this weather is affecting the uh, Rockies game. If it's even over in that area. The pitch. Swung on and grounded a short. Swedzig backs up. Flips to second for the force. And that'll do it. One run on one hit, two errors, and a man left. Four complete in Fort Lupton. Fort Morgan 8, Fort Lupton 3 on B106 and B106.com. The Mustangs in the lead, 8-3. to three. And as much as you love baseball, now the game cannot get over with fast enough. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. As it is now raining even harder, we'll see what's going to happen here. Right now the rain is coming down. and I don't know if there's any end in sight at this point. Not coming down super hard, but certainly hard enough at this point especially since we're dealing with equipment that we're attempting to protect. Joey Schneider will lead off the top of the fifth inning. And now let's see if the umpires in discussion here. Yeah, let's see if this game is going to continue. With an 8-3 Fort Morgan lead. Looks like there's a new pitcher on the hill as well. We're just trying to keep the equipment dry at this point. That is a challenge. You can trench me all you want. Well, Clint Allen is now behind the plate. Let's see, we'll get a taste of the new pitcher here in a second. The pitch. 
fastball is down and away. One ball and no strikes. Swung on and tapped foul. And the count is at one and one. One ball and one strike. That's Joey Schneider stepping in. Yeah, if it just lets up a little bit, we'll be fine. But who knows if that's going to happen. Schneider at 0 for 2. Grounded out and struck out. And the offering. Swung on and foul back. One ball and two strikes. McCutcheon is the new pitcher. And Allen, the new catcher, the pitch. Called strike three and a breaking ball. There's one down. One down in the top of the fifth inning. That'll send up Kyle Daniels. Wide and pitch. Swung on and driven into shallow right field. Outgoing is the second baseman who makes the catch. Nice play by Christian Angel. And there's two down. Two down for Chris Anderson, who's 0 for 3. Wine and offering. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Wine and pitch. Swung on and driven. Foul off to the left. Evens the count at one and one. The Rockies are in extra innings there with the Giants. Jeez, and people keep putting their lights on, not realizing you cannot do that. Lights have got to be off. Jesus. How many people have to be told? Lights off over there. Wow. That's a way to disrupt the baseball game by just not paying attention. One ball, one strike, and the offering. And the breaking ball is high. Two and one. And the pitch to Anderson. Swung on and grounded slowly on the left side. Third baseman has it. Throw to first. It's a one, two, three inning. As Manny Ledesma makes the play. Let us head to the bottom of the fifth inning. It is Fort Morgan 8, Fort Lupton 3 on B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Fort Morgan 8, Fort Lupton 3. I think we had about 50 people here at this game. We're down to about 10. This has gotten brutal. Rain, wind, and cold. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a fastball to Christian Angel. Who struck out in his first at bat. Again, you can still follow us on Twitter and Facebook at B106 or pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and one strike. Wide and offering. Fastball's up and away. Two and one. And the pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outside corner. Two balls and two strikes to the opening hitter. Here in the bottom of the fifth inning, the pitch. Swung on and missed. And another strikeout there for Jared Bohm. As he puts away Christian Angel. One down. I'm trying to get an update here with the uh, number of strikeouts. I believe that is eight for Bohm to pitch. Fastball is upstairs. Yeah, 
and the 1-0. Swung on and driven foul and off to the left as Ian McPeak is now the hitter. Now he struck out a batter in the first, a side in the third, two more in the in the second, I should say, two more in the third. And the offering, down and in. Looks like one more in the fourth, and then one in the fifth. That would be seven strikeouts for Bohm. The pitch. Swung on, hit weakly on the ground towards the shortstop. Swedzik charges, throws on the run, and safe. McPeak beats it out on the slow roller. And Fort Lupton has their third hit against Jared Bohm. That'll set up Jeff Merritt, who's walked and struck out. He is 0 for 1 in the game. It has stopped raining momentarily. The stretch and a pitch square to bunt, and he fouls it to the screen. It's 0-1. No balls and one strike. Bohm at one point had retired nine in a row, and that streak ended when he threw the ball away in a comebacker. And the offering. Swing, and a miss and a bender. Throw back the first, and back in standing is McPeak. No balls and two strikes. The stretch and the offering. Call strike three with a fastball in the outer half. And there's two down. That'll send up Isaiah Padilla. He has struck out and grounded out. Eighth strikeout for Bohm. The pitch. Swag and a miss and a slow curve. It is 0-1-1. Bohm has thrown 76 pitches, 50 for strikes. And many of those balls came in the first inning. The stretch and a pitch. Fastball a little bit high. Leveling the count at one ball and one strike. Well, it started to rain again. No surprise there. The pitch. Fastball, a strike, runner going to second. The throw is off the shortstop or the second baseman, Rodriguez. It's a stolen base for McPeak. But it is a 1 2 count there to Padilla. So Bohm might strike out the side for the second time in this game. The pitch down and away. Leveling the count at two and two. Fort Morgan leads eight to three over Fort Lupton in the bottom of the fifth inning. Mustang scored one in the first, three in the third, four in the fourth. Throw back to second. I don't know why. It's off of Swedzik's glove. You're one strike away from getting out of this inning, and Bohm has not fielded his, his position well today. He's thrown Two balls away, one in a pickoff and one in a grounder. But he's been very good. Striking out hitters. The stretch. And the offering in the dirt with a breaking ball. Count moves to three and two. On Isaiah Padilla. The stretch. And the offering. Called strike three, a fastball in the outer half. And for the second time in this game, Jared Bohm strikes out the side. He's got nine strikeouts in the game. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Five complete. It is Fort Morgan eight, Fort Lupton three on B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the sixth inning in Fort Lupton. Fort Morgan eight, Fort Lupton three. As Reyes... Rodriguez will step in, followed by Wes Anderson and James Blackston against right-hander Colton McCutcheon, who came into the game one inning ago. He was the starting catcher until Allen and McCutcheon traded places. And Josh Langford now emerging from the dugout. Nice trick there, Josh. 
waiting as late as possible while everybody else freezes. But he's got that right. Here we go with Rodriguez batting for the Mustangs. The pitch and the breaking ball is down and away. One ball, no strikes. And the offering, swag and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the fastball. A double, a walk, and Rodriguez reached on an air. He is one for two. The wide by McCutcheon, the pitch. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. The ball goes all the way to the screen. One ball and two strikes. Man, this weather would settle down a bit, then it would be in good shape. But not happening at this point. McCutcheon steps off with more rain falling everywhere. And the 1 2. Swing, and it went off the catcher's glove and a miss. Now picking up is Allen. The long throw to first is in time. Rodriguez is out. And that was a throw from the fence all the way to first, well over 100 some odd feet. But Rodriguez had a late jump. He's a strikeout victim. One down for Wes Anderson. And the pitch is in there for a strike. No balls and one strike to Anderson. In the game, he's 0 for 3. Ball bounces in. Anderson popped to the left side. Hit a grounder to the shortstop, then popped again to the shortstop. So he's hit it to the same spot all three times. The pitch swung on and grounded to first. And off the glove of the first baseman, Record flips the first with a pitcher covering in time. Record recovered and threw to McCutcheon. And Anderson is retired 3-1. to one. Two down. Very alert play there by McCutcheon because there was no way Record was going to beat Anderson to the bag after the bobble. Here's James Blackston who popped out, was hit by a pitch, and then doubled. And the offering. Fastball, a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. We've had this weather since the third inning. Breaking ball down the middle. That's strike two. No balls and two strikes to James Blackston. Here's the wind and pitch. Outside with a heater. McCutcheon's done a very nice job since coming into the game. One ball and two strikes. And the pitch. Curveball hit off the end of the bat on the ground towards the first baseman record, but foul. Count remains at one and two. Rockies down 12 to eight. They trail 12 to eight now in the bottom of the 11th inning on 10-10 KSIR against the Giants. Wine and pitch. Swung on, that ball is drilled deep into left field, going back as Lujan to his right, and did he make the play? No, it's just foul. We were blocked off there momentarily, so it remains at one and two. Nice ride given to that baseball by James Blackston. Eight to three, Fort Morgan leads Fort Lupton. On a day, if you're indoors, you're smarter than everybody else. Yeah, this game cleared out. Outside of the players and the umpires, there are about 10 people here at this game. Wine in the pitch. Curveball called a ball. Wow. The Blue Devils were running off the field, and I thought it was a strike, but Blackton took it. It was just a little bit high. That's a keen eye by James Blackston. Wine, 2-2. Two -two. Fastball outside. 3-2. Three balls and two strikes to Blackston. Mustang dugout now gets chattering here. And the pitch. That is outside, and Blackston walks. Here's Jared Baum, who's doubled twice, including a three-run double. That turned a 2-1 deficit into a 4-2 lead in the third. He's also grounded out, so he's two for three in the game.
Blackston with the lead at first. A stretch and a pitch. Breaking ball. A strike. And it's 0-1. We played an hour and 31 minutes, but it seems like three hours and 31 minutes. That's what happens when weather hits. It makes things seem a lot slower. The pitch. Fastball down and away. Scooped up by Allen. And the count is leveled at 1-1. One and one. Eight runs and seven hits. Three airs for the Mustangs. Six left on base. Three runs, three hits, three airs, and two left on base for Fort Lupton. McCutcheon pitches to Bohm. Curveball high. Runner going to second. The throw is going to air mail into center field, but holding up right there is going to be Blackston. It'll be a stolen base for James Blackston. Bohm now has a man in scoring position to drive in. If he drives him in, that would be a 9-3 to three lead, which is what Fort Morgan won by on Friday on the road as well. Two balls and one strike. The stretch. McCutcheon comes home. Fastball to the screen. And on the wild pitch, Blackston goes to third. Now it's three and one. Three balls and one strike. The stretch and the pitch. Fastball is outside, and McCutcheon, after retiring the first two hitters, is now struggled with his control. He's walked the last two. Here's Tony Zwedzig, who's grounded out, walked, and hit a two-run single. So he's one for two. Courtesy runners, Carlito Urquieta. Zwedzig getting some instructions from third base and head coach Josh Langford before he steps in. The stretch and the step off, no throw. Yeah, I don't see any sign of this letting up. This is We're going to live in misery until this game is over. And a breaking ball is a strike. No balls and one strike to Zwetzik. At third is Blackston. Urquieta at first with two down. In the top of the sixth inning, Fort Morgan eight, Fort Lupton three. McCutcheon looks back. McCutcheon delivers. Curveball is grounded on the right side towards second. And Angel flips to first. And that does it for the Mustangs in the top of the sixth inning. No runs. No hits. No errors and two men left. Five and a half complete. Fort Morgan eight. Fort Lupton three on B106 and B106.com. It'll be the heart of the order for Fort Lupton. Clint Allen, Colton McCutcheon, and Manny Ledesma. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Fort Morgan leads 8-3. to three, Nine strikeouts and three hits allowed by Jared Bohm to pitch. And the breaking ball is down the middle for a strike. Bohm has thrown 82 pitches, 53 for strikes, and 29 for balls. Wide in the offering. Fastball is down and away. That levels the count at one ball and one strike. Wine and pitch. Fastball, a little bit low and away. Two and one. Now the wind is getting stronger again. Two and one. And the offering. Swung on and foul back. One with a breaking ball. Two and two. Allen has one of the three hits, an RBI single. Way back in the first inning when Fort Lupton scored two of their three runs. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch by Bohm. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball in the dirt. Schneider picks it up, throws to first. One down, strikeout number 10 for Jared Bohm. Five outs to go. Count them all down. Colton McCutcheon. Sack fly and reached on an air. He is 0 for 1 in the game. He hit that comebacker that Bohm threw away. That led to a run a couple of innings ago. Yeah, the only bad thing with a lot of strikeouts, it works up the pitch count, but that's fine. It takes pressure off the defense. Fastball is outside. One ball and no strikes. And Bohm's got that breaking ball going. Wine and pitch. Fastball off the glove of Schneider. 2-0.
Rockies game is still going on, by the way. 12 to 10 in the bottom of the 11th with one out and one on. And the pitch, fastball, a strike on the outer half. Two and one, that game on 10-10 KSIR. Here's the wine and offering. And a check swing, but he went through on the fastball in the inner half. Two and two to McCutcheon. Wine and pitch. Swung on. That ball is lifted down the right side. Wes Anderson in foul territory. Giving chase. Still giving chase. And he could not make the catch. Up against the side of the fence. So the count remains at two and two to Colton McCutcheon. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. One out. And the base is empty. And Fort Morgan leading 8-3. to three. Boom. Delivers. Swung on and grounded up the middle. Swedzig has it go off his glove, and he cannot make a play. Did not keep the glove down. And as a result, the Mustangs have committed their fourth error of the game. That'll bring up Manny Ledesma. Yeah, this is certainly a negative for Fort Morgan with all the errors they have made. And Coach Langford wants to clean that up. Throw back the first and back in is McCutcheon. Stretch by Bohm and the pitch. Fastball is low. Ledesma with a pop-up and an RBI single in his last at bat. Stepping back in with the rain continuing to fall, but it's more of a drizzle now. Throw back to first, and again back in standing is McCutcheon. One ball, no strikes, one out, one on. Eight to three, Fort Morgan in the bottom of the sixth inning. The pitch, the breaking ball is a strike, belt high. And that levels the count at one and one. On deck is Alex Record. Bohm stretches. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded to first. Anderson's got it. Goes to second for one. Swedzig to first. That is two, three, six, three. Double play. What are they going to say here that he was not on the bag? Apparently, Swedzig was not on the bag at second. So it's a 3-6-3 three, three out at first base. Josh Langford is coming out. It looked like Zwedzik was clearly on the bag. I don't know what type of call that is. Wow. Well, I mean, the umpire's right there, so he's got a better view than we do. He's got the better view. Well, there's two down. But that goes 3-6-3 three, three on the play retiring the hitter, Ledesma, as apparently Zwedzik was not on the back. Alex Record is struck out and popped out. He's 0 for 2. The pitch swung on and tapped slowly on the ground on the right side. Picked up by Bohm. Sets, throws high, but not high enough. As Henderson's able to make the catch, that was scary again. And the inning is over. The Blue Devils strand one as we go to the seventh. Fort Morgan eight, Fort Lupton three on B106 and B106.com. Austin Cosman will lead off against Colton McCutcheon. Here in the top half of the seventh inning in Fort Lupton. With the Mustangs leading the Blue Devils by a score of eight to three. And Jared Henderson will be leading off for the Mustangs. He will hit for Cosman. Jared Henderson to hit to begin the top of the seventh inning. Yeah, an off game for Cosman. He was 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. But that's the way baseball goes. You have some great games and others where you don't hit the ball as well. That's just a product of the sport offensively. So here is Henderson. 
And again, no sign of the rain letting up, but we're still on the air. That's all that counts at this point. And Colton McCutcheon, the right-hander, delivers. The breaking ball is in the dirt. Rockies, by the way, lost in 11, 12 to 10. One ball and no strikes. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. And that levels the count at one and one. One ball, one strike, and the offering in the dirt, two and one. McCutcheon has only thrown 33 pitches in relief. And the offering. Swung on. That ball is driven high into left center field. Lujan, the left fielder to his left. The center fielder still coming. And it's going to drop in front of Merritt. Isaiah Padilla. Oh, he's not playing short right now. But that catch probably should have been made. Perhaps by the shortstop. The wind was just blowing in. That Christian Angels, now the shortstop, he should have made that catch. Instead, it'll be a base hit and a pop fly for Henderson. That was a very, very, very long run. There's Joey Schneider. Looks like T.J. Bauer will run it first. And the rain has gotten worse. This is the worst it, it's been here. The pitch squaring to bunt, and he lays it down the third base side, and it's trickling foul. Oh and one. So the Mustangs pick up a charity base hit on a play that should have been made over there. And Lorenzo Antuna is now the second baseman. The stretch and the offering squaring the butt and takes it outside. We're in the seventh inning, thank God. Eight to three, Fort Morgan leads Fort Lupton. We have six outs to go in this game, three by each team. The stretch and the pitch square to Bunt, and he lays it up the first base side. It's picked up by the catcher. Throw to first as Allen makes the play, retiring Joey Schneider. The sacrifice is successful, two to three. And there's one down. And advancing to second is Bauer. Here's Kyle Daniels. Who's had a very big day. The stretch and a pitch. Breaking ball. Swung on. Grounded to short. And it takes a big hop. It goes by Angel into left field. Bauer's around third. He will score. Or check that. That's Cosman, who is the courtesy runner. My bad there. That'll be an error on the shortstop Angel. No RBI. Mustangs now lead 9-3. to three. And the ball just misplayed out there. And the offering to Chris Anderson. Up and away, he's 0 for 4 in the game. So looking to get on track here is Anderson, but it is a nice hefty lead for the Mustangs. With one out to pitch in the dirt. Two balls. And no strikes. Yeah, the skies have opened up big time. The pitch in the dirt again. 3-0. and oh. And I'm doing everything in my power to protect the equipment at this point. Three balls and no strikes. Three and oh to, I don't know how they continue this game. This is just blowing right in the face of all these hitters. Anderson awaits the 3-0 pitch. The stretch and the offering. 
down and in. He walks. Anderson on base for the second time since he also was able to reach on an air. Here's Reyes Rodriguez, who was doubled walk, reached on an air, and struck out. He is one for three. Runners at first and second with one out in the seventh and Fort Morgan up nine to three. And the pitch swung on and fouled straight back. The count is at 0-1. And, and I can tell you, everybody who's at this game now is pretty much nearly drenched. Or very close to it. The stretch. And the offering. Swung on and lifted foul off to the right and out of play. The count is 0-2 to Reyes Rodriguez. At second is Daniels. Anderson at first. The stretch and the offering. Outside with a changeup. And the count is sitting at one and two. Nine to three, Fort Morgan. In the top of the seventh inning. Runners going. Swung on grounded foul. Mustangs, if they get three more outs, would improve to 9-0 and in league play, 11-5 and overall. Yeah, there's not a sign at all. We have opened it up. I do not see a break in any cloud. It's just opened up right now. One ball, two strikes, one out, two on. The Mustangs have tallied a run in the seventh. Allen lays down the sign. The stretch by McCutcheon, the pitch. Fastball is outside. Two and two. Rodriguez back in the box. And the offering in the dirt with a breaking ball. Please throw a strike. The Mustangs, I'm sure, want to hit. A rally would be nice, but <laughs> tough in these conditions. We'll do a 3-2 pitch. McCutcheon looks back, still looking back, comes home. Up and away, and Rodriguez walks to load the bases. And Wes Anderson has popped out, reached on an air. Popped again on the left side, then grounded to first. He is 0 for 4 in the game. And he can break it wide open with a 9 to 3 Mustang lead and one out, and the base is loaded in the seventh. The umpire is surveying the mound and the grass to see if it's still playable. And even though McCutcheon is struggling with his control, the game will continue. And those of us that are here will try to get as dry as quickly as possible, or dry as quickly as possible. I can't even speak English at this point. 1-0, nor could I really before the game. One ball, no strikes, with the bases loaded. To the left-handed hitting first baseman, Wes Anderson. McCutcheon gets the sign from Allen. And the 1-0 pitch, fastball, a strike at the knees. The count is even at one and one. Jared Baum has put together a 10 strikeout performance in this game for the Mustangs. And the offering, fastball is high. Two and one. Yeah, you'd like strikes to be called just to move the game along, but the home plate umpire has been very consistent today. And the two one, swung on, grounded foul up the first base side. And that one hurt. Anderson hit that one towards the end of the bats, and he's still stinging inside the batter's box. Two and two. Daniels at third. Chris Anderson at second. Rodriguez at first. Colton McCutcheon winds and delivers. Swung on. That ball is popped up into shallow left field. Lujan coming in, makes the catch. The runners have to hold. And there are two down in the seventh inning. And Anderson 0 for 5 in the game. 
James Blackton is one for two. He popped out, was hit by a pitch, doubled and walked. This will be a fifth plate appearance. Mustangs with a 9-3 to three advantage. Wine and pitch. Fastball is outside. One ball, no strikes. Stop and shop and save at the Brush Grocery Cart. 1302 West Edison Street and Brush down and away. 2-0. and oh. To James Blackston. Mustang left fielder stepping off as McCutcheon. Try to recompose himself. Wine in the pitch. It's a strike. Fastball in the outer half at the knees. Count moves to two and one. Wine and pitch. Swung on. That ball is drilled high into left field. Lujan coming in, still coming, still coming, and he dropped the ball! Two runs are in, Rodriguez is being sent around third towards the plate, and he will score. Blackston ends up at second on what's turning out to be a three-run error. That ball should have easily been caught, but the wind took it back, but still it was dropped by Lujan. 12-3. The Mustangs lead the game. No RBIs. And that pitch is upstairs for Blackston. Jared Baum is two for three. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That is five errors in the game for Fort Lupton. One ball, one strike. And the offering. Fastball outside. And the count is at two and one. And the pitch. Up. That's a strike, a delayed call. Count is sitting at two and two. On Jared Bohm. Step off there. The stretch and the offering. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball. And that'll do it for the Mustangs here in the top half of inning number seven. However, they score four runs on only one hit, two errors, and they were both massive. And a man left on base. Let's head to the bottom of the seventh inning. With the score, Fort Morgan 12, Fort Lupton 3 on B106 and B106.com. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Fort Morgan 12, Fort Lupton 3. The fastball to the screen. Johnny Lujan is struck out and reached in a fielder's choice. He's 0 for 2. The board says 11-3, but it's 12-3. As the Mustangs took advantage of a couple of errors in the top half of the seventh inning. Wine in the pitch. Swung on and grounded right side. That's a base hit for Lujan to throw to first. That's going to be late. Nice attempt out there. Right field by Bauer, but to no avail. Christian Angel is 0 for 2 in the game. As he will now bat against the right-hander Jared Bohm. He's had an excellent day on the mound. He's thrown 98 pitches, the stretch, and the offering. Fastball is down and away. One ball and no strikes. Bohm ready. And the pitch. Swung on and fouled. One and one. Let's see. I want to make sure that we've got the uh, strikeout totals correct on Bohm. 
go back to first nothing doing. Yeah, I've got him with 10 strikeouts in a game. Swung on and fouled. 0-2. Oh the rain stopped, but it has started again. Only three outs to go in the game. The stretch. And the offering. Bounces it in. Blocked nicely by Schneider. That was his 101st pitch. A stretch. Throw back to first. And back in diving is Lujan. 12 to 3 in favor of the Mustangs. And the offering. Swung on and fouled off to the right. One ball, two strikes, one on, nobody out. Bottom seven. The Mustangs lead by nine. They were down two to one early in this game. Boom stretches. And the pitch. Fastball called strike three. The ball is dropped, but it doesn't matter. First base is occupied. And there's one down. Strikeout number 11 for Jared Bohm. And stepping to the plate will be Devin Garcia. Hitting from the left side. Against Bohm. And the pitch. Fastball fisted foul. And off to the left. Let's see that. I might have missed a strikeout in there in my calculations. Throw back to first back and diving. Since we're going electronically here. The 0-1. Fastball is up and away. Let's see if that was indeed 11 now for Bohm. It was six and a third innings. And that ball is driven in the air towards left field. Blackston is right there. Makes the two-handed catch. And there's two down. That's 12 strikeouts, by the way, for Bohm. 12 in the game with a Mustang right-hander. And here's Jeff Merritt, who's walked, struck out, and struck out again. 0 for 2 in the game. Bohm has struck out the side twice. He won't do that here in the seventh, but it really doesn't matter. And the breaking ball's in there for a strike. No balls and one strike. He has walked one. That's what's even more impressive. And that was way back in the first inning. No balls and one strike. Wow. Now the wind kicks up even more. Swung on, grounded towards first. It is off the glove of the first baseman. Anderson into right field. Looked like a routine bouncer. And Anderson misplayed it. It's an error. That extends the game. And Fort Morgan yet with another error. They cannot do this once they get to the playoffs. That is five errors on both teams. Ten in the game. And this will be Lorenzo and Tuna to bat for Fort Lupton. The stretch by Bohm. And the pitch. Swung on and popped foul. Not a play off to the right. No balls and one strike. Two strikes away. Is Jared Bohm from finishing this game off. The stretch. And the offering. Swing and a miss. It would be very appropriate to end this game with his 13th strikeout. No balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Four Morgan leads 12 to 3. That second is Lujan. Merritt at first. 0 2. Call strike three with a fastball on the outside corner. And the Fort Morgan Mustangs have defeated. The Fort Lupton Blue Devils by a score of 12 to 3. As the Mustang post game show 
is brought to you by Buildings by Design. Knowing who you can trust to do a good job is the tough part nowadays. When you hire Buildings by Design, you can trust you. You get the building you want, when you want it, and at the quality you deserve. That's Buildings by Design as the Fort Morgan Mustangs defeat the Fort Lupton Blue Devils by a score of 12-3 to here in Fort Lupton. For the Mustangs, they get 12 runs on 8 hits, 5 airs and line left on base. 3 runs on 4 hits, 5 airs and 5 left on base for Fort Lupton. The winning pitcher was Jared Bohm. He went the distance, striking out 13 with only one walk. Clint Allen takes the lost time of the game, 2 hours and 4 minutes. Mustangs got on the board first. And in the top of the first inning on a Reyes-Rodriguez RBI double, but back came the Blue Devils. Clint Dow with an RBI single. Colton McCutcheon with a sack fly gave them a 2-1 to one lead. Fort Morgan would take the lead in the third for good. Jared Bone with a three-run double made it 4-2. to two. Chris Anderson with an RBI made it 5-2. to two. And then later on, Chase Blackston with an RBI double. 6-2 to two was the score. A two-run single by Tony Swedzig in the fourth made it 8-2. to two. And then Manny Ledesma came through in the bottom of the fourth for Fort Lupton with an RBI single. It was 8-3. to three. Then Fort Morgan scored the last four runs of the game. Austin Cosman scored on an air. And then three runs scored on James Blackson. Fly ball dropped by the left fielder Johnny Lujan. The Mustangs at 9-0 and in league play, 11-5 and overall. Fort Lupton falls to 3-6 and in the Colorado 7, 5-11 on the season. Mustangs are back in action coming up on Thursday. That'll be from Fort Morgan on B106 and B106.com when they take on these same Blue Devils. Sound engineer and producer of Fort Morgan Mustang Baseball has been Braden Godin. I'm John Beltran with a final score. Fort Morgan 12, Fort Lupton 3 on B106 and B106.com.